All right, boys, as you can see, this is a part, right? Now, I could make it say some crazy stuff, but I'm not going to do that because, you know, I'm a nice man and everything. Um, so basically, all I'm going to show you is how you can make bubbles around stuff. So how you can make, like, you know, like, like chat bubbles pop up over parts or players. And I'm also going to show you how you can, like, detect when anyone sends a message to chat, right? So how we're going to do that is we're going to make a script inside starter player script. It has to be a local script, right? I'll just call it, like, text script. Uh, and we are going to use text chat service like so. So I'm going to make a variable for text chat service. And you can either say game dot text chat service, or you could say game get service text chat service. So both of these do the same thing. I just like using get service usually. So I'll use that. So basically, right, for bubbles, you just do TCS, right? And you say display bubble. And this is going to tell you, okay, where do I display to? And what message do I send? So if we will let's say one of this display it on this part, which is a part, it, it's it's inside the workspace and it's called part. So I'll say okay, workspace dot part, and then what I want to what I wanted to display is I've gained sentience. Wonderful. So if I were to if I were to play the game right now, interesting. Okay. So this is a this is a big thing. Please remember to use wait for child, because sometimes. Stuff that just doesn't load in, and then the play, and then the script like loads in before the part. There we go. I've gained sentience. How cool is that? I've gained sentience, and then yeah, it goes away. Wonderful. And again, doesn't just have to be a part. It could be me. I could say script dot pit dot um. Oh wait, no, not script dot game dot players dot local player dot character. Right. So it's local players you, and then the character is your character. Which. Is it hasn't loaded, of course, so... Okay, but the point is, like, like if the character were loaded, you know what, actually, let's just wait. Let's just wait, like, three seconds, you know? You, let's give the character some time to load. So we're, we're gonna wait a bit. There we go. I've gained sentience. Wonderful. Okay, so as you can see, yeah, when the character is loaded and when the part is loaded, then it works fine. That's beautiful. Then th another thing you could do with bubbles is you could make, a, like, an event, right? So you could say TCS, um, and then I believe it's bubble displayed there we go like so so this is gonna return these two parameters so it's gonna give you the actual instance that you know like it, it's this like is being displayed like the instance that's you know chatting and it's gonna give you the text chat message now this one is a bit confusing for me and let me show you why right so let's say this gives us the part and then it gives us the message right oh wait no my bad my bad bro function there we go function part and then message if I were to print out, yeah, print out part and then message, let me show you what happens, right? So if I if I just move this back to workspace, wait for child part. So we're going to make the, the bubble appear over the part. And then this will fire, right? And, and also make sure that this, like uh, this function that you're making is above this display bubble. Because if it's, if it's below, because Roblox does code from top to bottom, right? So if it does this first and then the, makes this function, well, then this function isn't going to run if it's below, right? Because then th this is going to run, but then like Roblox doesn't know that we want this function to be active, right? So we make the this function active before, and then we display the bubble so that the function actually runs when a bubble is displayed. I know, yapping, I understand. There we go. So as the bubble happens, it says part, and it says instance, right? So this is what kind of confuses me. So, okay, the function works. That's great. So it gives, it gives us the name of the part, which is amazing. And then it gives us the text chat message, which is an instance, right? You see, that's what I don't get. So if we do like enum text chat, ah, it's, it's weird. Yeah. Text chat. Yeah. It's saying it's going to give us a text chat message, but what is a text chat message? Cause what it's sending me is it's saying instance, but the text chat message isn't instance. It's this, right? So what is it? What is actually going on here, right? So, this is something I'm 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 still kind of confused about, right? So, but again, you know, don't don't worry too much about this. And the the next thing I want to show you is the message received thing, right? And this will just give you the 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 message again. So if I connect function like so, and then it gives us the message, and then we print out the message. Let's see what happens. So if I say hello. It says instance again. Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I understand why. 
I think it's because we're doing this on a local script. Now, here's the thing. So, making a bubble will only work um, on a, a local script, I believe. So I don't think you can make bubbles on server scripts, right? And ju just to check this, right? So I'm going to copy this line. I'm going to delete the script. I'm going to add a script here inside, you know, like a server script inside server script service. I'll paste this line back in and I'll, and I'll display the bubble. Okay. Workspace, wait for child part. And I'll make it say, haha. I don't know. Something like that. Right. And so let's see if I load in right now. Yeah. So as you can see on a low, on a server script, it's not going to be displaying any bubbles. Right. Um, yeah. So that doesn't really work sadly. But then if I were to make the message here, or if I were to do something like on incoming message, right? Oh, wait, no, it wasn't on incoming message. It was message received, right? And then I were to connect that to a function, which will give us the message. And then if I print out the message, then let's see what happens. So if I were to say, hello. Fascinating. It doesn't do anything. Okay, so boys, I hope we learned a valuable lesson today. Never use text chat service right? I'm sure that maybe I've made a, a ton of mistakes along the way, but you know, I, f I feel, I feel like I'm using these properly, man. I don't know. Message received connect function. You know, it, it's giving me the message, but it's saying instance and actually, no, it's not even saying anything right now. Cause it, it was saying stuff on the local, like at least like, yeah, it said instance, but at least it was saying something now. It's just not printing out anything. Um, but yeah, moral of the story, don't use text chat service. I don't know use something better. Just watch a better tutorial. This, this one, this one is terrible. Um, and we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.